reach a world record marker from Great Britain. Great Britain have won the Olympic gold medal. Congratulations, you made the team. This was an easy decision. Welcome aboard. I just don't think he's ready. Of course he's ready. He's been doing this since he was five. I've been watching him closely. I don't think he's going to be ready for Tokyo. I don't think he's going to make the team. He can win. I guarantee it. He's not strong enough. His cardio strength has been consistently good recently. Well, actually, he's been showing signs of fatigue in the last minute. Well, I did. Well, in the medical test I did with his blood function, it must be normal. <laughs> yes, but you're not a doctor. And I'm really concerned about his injury. It might have a lasting effect on his body. With the correct eating, his injuries will heal quickly. Look, he's overcome every setback. I mean, I overcame every injury I had back when I was competing. You never even competed at national level. Look, your brother is better than you, but I just don't think he's good enough. I've got four places confirmed on Team GB. How can I be sure he's ready? He's your fifth. He can do it. He's been eating clean, there's no cheating. Can he confirm that? Of course he will. Let's see. Hello, you're right. Hi, you're right, bro. How's it going? How are you doing? <laughs> Coach? That's great to see you. You're right. Hi, Luke. How's your diet been this week? I'm fine, thanks for asking. Yeah, it's, it's been alright. Kept it healthy, mostly, this week. I'm afraid that's not good enough. Look, am I supposed to be training? This is all a bit cloak and dagger, what's going on? Luke, listen, we're here to discuss your suitability for Tokyo 2020. Yeah, bro, look, we're here to talk about your recent stats. Remember you told me last week that you had food poisoning on the morning of the match and that's why you lost? Oh. Yeah, I had a dodgy fry up and it just kept me <laughs> <in>. Fry up? <laughs> and this is what you call clean eating? You're telling me that you lost that match because you overloaded on carbs? I can't believe it. I've only got four years to get you within medal contention. Look, it was just one cheat meal. Well, us Chadwicks have always been able to compete on a full stomach. I mean, my granddad always used to have a pint of Guinness before he went out for a match. Look, coach, I can do this. Look, have I not won every regional match you put me in? Well, I'm putting together an Olympic team. If the other guys get knocked out, I'm relying on you to bring home a medal. I'm not confident and your body can take it anymore. Yes, but if he keeps to the eating regime, takes his supplements, he can win this. He's proven it to us before. He can win it. Just give him a chance. Coach, I can do this. He can do it. You can do it, can't you, Luke? You were just after your check. Do you really need to be here? You need a fifth man, and it's in his blood. He comes from third generation of an athlete's family. He was born to do this. Coach, this is all I've got. This is what I am. You know, I'm, I'm good at it. You know, and I can bring the panache back to the sport. People come to see me, they, it's exciting, right? I put bombs in seats and they stay there. They don't know what's coming next. You've seen what I can do. Come on, it's electric, coach. I am the game. I am Team GB. Yes, little bro. This is ridiculous. Well, you did the test yourself. You said that he had better lung capacity than you'd ever seen. Yes, he does have a remarkable lung capacity, but so what? Coach, please let me be the fifth member on your team. Look, if you give me these next four years, Coach, I will not let you down, I promise. There are five lockers in my office. I've given the keys out to four already. There's one I haven't yet. Do you want that fifth locker? Yeah. Yeah, he does. Well, don't let me down. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. You've made the underwater boxing Olympic team. Underwater boxing champion, let's go!